What's up, everybody? What up? <laughs> what up? Welcome what up? to the Flex Zone All In Podcast. I'm Flex Alexander. I am Buddy Lewis. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Cornelia. <laughs> And today, listen, we have the distinct honor of having one of our dear friends in the building. Huh? Let me tell you, this woman got more jobs than- Keep a job. A keep a job. She has not stopped working since she was 12. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, she has been on Two Broke Girls, That's So Raven, for, you know, from Friday. One on one. One on one. That's right. One Curb on your one. enthusiasm. Friday she next. almost got an Emmy for that one. Curb your enthusiasm. Saved a man's She's, life. She is. I'm on these nuts. Award <laughs> nominated. Just, I mean, she in these streets, y'all. She in these streets. Y'all give it up for the talented, the lovely, the amazing Miss Kim Whitman. All the way from Cleveland. All the way from Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, it's Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. yeah. What is up? What's up, Kim? y'all? What's going on? I'm happy to be here in the studio with y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited, Kim. I'm, we, we, I'm so excited. This should be working, I man. She's just coming from work. Coming I'm from just work. coming from work. Where you working, buddy? Kim? I'm working on a show with Maya Rudolph. Oh, um, yes. For Apple TV. Oh, okay. gosh. Um, that's so, that's going to be funny. That's that real money right there. It's that's fine. that good it's money. Been <laughs> it's been that's that good money right How come there. I ain't writing on your little show, Kim? You got to talk to Maya, though, right? right. Is it? You got to call Maya. Hey, hey, you shut your lips. I'm, I'm talking to the woman. Hey, Sorrow. fun fact. Fun fact. Maya Rudolph, mm-hmm. you know, my mm-hmm. wife uh, remade uh, Loving You by her mother, Minnie Ripperton. Oh. She was the only one allowed to remake that record. Really? Because uh, the widower, Dick Rudolph, Maya's dad, Produced Shinies back in the day. Mm. So Are you was, kidding so, me? Uh, th- is that why nobody remakes nobody. the song? I was wondering what nobody. else. She's really? the only one who's been able to remake that song. Wow. Why he got it locked down so tight like that? Because he holding it down. I ain't mad at him. You know, no bums trying to do yeah, it. Somebody, yeah, what, uh, <laughs> yeah. Everybody, all these bums trying to re-sing your songs. But don't you, but Wait, Mariah Carey had never done it? No. 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 That's so interesting. But she's done them. Shani's the only one yeah, that they, the yeah, voice. Shani's got yeah. the voice, though. She did, she there's a couple of whistle noters. There's Mariah, Shani. What'd Moore. you call them? Whistle noters. Mariah Carey, uh, my wife, and Shantae Moore. Yeah. Shantae Moore can get up there? Oh, oh yeah, she be doing yeah. that. Yeah. Like she Shantae? Yes. Yeah, Shantae yeah. can get on up there. She be, Shantae she be get up there. Hey, I never she, knew Shantae she, could get you know, up there. She's, you know, Shantae is uh, engaged now, right? Yeah. yeah. To Stephen yeah. Hill. We hung out amazing. with them. We hung out with them at the Capitol Jazz Festival. Uh, Shantae it, did a that was concert amazing. there. It was Shantae Moore. It was Tamia. Uh, it was Ooh, Stokely. Tamia, another great singer. Stokely, Stokely. Uh, Sheila E. My level. Uh, and BBD and then Shantae's in Baltimore. Level. Oh, that's a good lineup. Yeah, it was, it was great. It don't, it, don't, it don't sound like that. My level. So, Kim, yeah, does Shawnee still buddy. sing to you? <laughs> she, she never sang to me. No? I sing to her. Please oh, don't. God, don't. Yeah, I, don't I, I, do I'm, listen, for someone that has a voice the way she has, I sing more in the house than she does. I love music. She ain't got the proof of who she is. Listen, okay? I don't love proof, music. Proof. Yeah. Any kind of music. Shawnee's Just as playing. long as it's grooving. <laughs> I know you didn't get that right yeah, there. Okay. See, I'm now see if you, you follow me, friend, you follow me. <laughs> yeah, Flex, if you weren't my friend, I would have said something nasty. And wrong I, yeah, I know you would. Said, yeah. was, Even, so is this a PG? <laughs> she wasted kind of, up. No, no it's all it's all in. That's why it's all in. <laughs> All it's all in, Kim. So I got two important things in my bag. I just doing other things around. Kim, Kim, <laughs> Kim, I got a bra and a What the hell? You keep you pull that. Dang, it shook on me. I'm, got I'm, a I'm, bra it was all and a wig. And a wig. A bra and a wig? Yeah, I was looking for my makeup. Oh, Is my beard showing? No, no, yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good. Uh, so, so you, Kim, you was just how pull the was <laughs> Wendy Williams, hosting Wendy Williams? Yes. You and Finesse co-hosted, was it a whole week or a couple days? Yes. Give us the rundown. How was, was, rundown, every how was you, that? It's, every time you ask something, hey, how come I wasn't on the yeah. show work? <laughs> That's, that's the history. Wendy didn't had. know you. That yeah. was why. They don't know your name. But no, tell us how 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 was that experience? With what these was nuts it like? on my mom. <laughs> that ain't no. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> okay. A week on Wendy Williams was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I was shocked at how I enjoyed Flex uh, Flex Alexander. No. Uh, <laughs> Same well, person. Finesse. 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 <laughs> one's brown, one's light. Yeah, yeah. Flex would have been great. Um, but Finesse Mitchell. I didn't know him. I mean, I know him, but I don't Finesse know him. Guy. It yeah. ain't like Buddy or yeah. David. But Finesse was really 
amazing. It was mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. And you know what? We had a great time. It was, you know, we were scared. I don't know if he was, but we was nervous first day. Oh, of course. Why? Huh? Why were you nervous? And why didn't they let you do the show by yourself? I mean, I understand, you know. Because I had never been on there. They didn't know me, you know. Right. That's what they say. Best, but Vanessa had actually been on there before. Uh, I had never been on Wendy Williams. Wow. So they don't trust me. I know it's hard. You had your to own, trust you Kim. Were on a talk show before. You, it's you hard. It's with. hard to trust Kim Whitley. And Why? are they, and are they auditioning y'all to eventually take over, or are we really in this whole it's, like yeah, fill yeah, in is for Wendy? Are they still space? trying to figure it yeah. out? Yeah, you know, I think they're just figuring it out. But to be honest with you, I think they're doing a bunch of pilots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they're trying oh, okay. different things and a yeah. bunch of pilots. I don't think it would be the Wendy Williams mm-hmm. show because you're not gonna sit there and go out. Every day, be like, it's the Wendy Williams show, and it's Flex and Kim yeah. and Sherry, and yeah, where's right, Wendy? Right, right. They're trying to figure mm-hmm. it out. Yeah. yeah, where is Wendy? Is she okay? No, she's still sick or whatever she's, she's, she's going well. through. Wow, she's not well. But um, once I did her show for a week, I see why she ain't well. It's that a lot, that huh? sucker it's is a grueling. She's been doing it for thirteen years. I'll be sleep somewhere. That's that's a lot. We, and, and, we, and, we send, let's, we send our well wishes to to, to Wendy yeah. Williams. For sure. Yeah, for sure. What, what's the I really hours? have a respect for her, a different respect, yeah. level of respect after doing her show. How many shows did you do a day? Some days we did one, some days we did two. Okay. Mm. The two days you like, oh my God, we pass out. How long is our show? Oh, An, hour. An hour. And it's okay. Li- okay. Excuse me, and it's live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what's so crazy. Yeah, you yeah. got to be careful. I could not see why they wouldn't trust you. Kim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they own the button like this. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. okay and, we didn't <laughs> Look, y'all see I'm hungry. I didn't came from the set. Stop. We didn't got, we tru- got Weight Watchers, Well, Kim. you should have put all some healthy snacks in this bowl. <laughs> Who puts out candy? And I haven't eaten. I mean, I've never seen anybody do that. Flex. Are we kids? What? Are we children? <laughs> it's trick or treat. I just had a, I just had a taste for you. These are some of my favorites. I mean, when's the last time you seen a hundred thousand dollar bar? I mean, come I on. They ain't giving us no sponsorship. You know, but um, this will be the last little but piece. But Kim, um, you, I thought you'd like the almond joy. It's got nuts. I already oh, had one. Oh, okay. This is this ain't gonna stop. <laughs> so going back to for your mouth. Go, sometimes going back you to, feel like a nut, buddy. Sometimes going back stop to, calling out the candy. They ain't sponsoring us. Yeah, I know. I, I know that's what right. I did. Go, that's what I going just going back did. to Wendy Williams show. You said you you saw you have a new respect for it. You know the the time that it takes, mm-hmm. like. Did it make you say, if I was offered a talk show, I would or would not take it? I would take it. I love mm-hmm. talk. I started with talk. Mm-hmm. Um, it's easier than acting. Mm-hmm. To me, it's a, it's, a, it's a harder, let's say, in hours. Mm-hmm. So it's a grind, but a different kind of grind. Right. And I enjoy people and talking to people and having fun and improv and um, so I probably would. I think because that would I think that would bode well for for you know uh, being stand ups. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. You get to think on your feet and you know what I'm saying. I, that I think that because I I noticed that people that you know had some stand up background or some kind of improv mm-hmm. skills they do well on the, on mm-hmm. the talk show. What did you find was the most grueling? Like doing the research for the the celebrities that are on or the people that were or the subjects getting ready that, those getting hot ready. topics mm-hmm. oh, and topics. doing a fine line between talking about them and talking about them. Mm-hmm. Right. right. It was very hard as a comedian. We got in hot water a couple of times. Me and Finesse, we were on the shade room. Something else came out yesterday uh, about me. And and I like Chloe. I don't want to be bad. Right. I've done Chloe's show. I don't want to not be invited to the parties. I mean, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm off their list now. You talking, you, about, think, you talking about Chloe, the two the sisters, Chloe and... Oh, uh, just Chloe Kardashian. We, oh, I uh, thought you were talking about Chloe and Halle. Though. Oh no, the Kardashians. Oh, the Kardashians. Sorry, I love Chloe and Halle. Oh, okay. Oh, what, the Kardashians. You say, you say? I'm not bringing it up. Okay, yeah, let's not bring that up. But okay. it is no, but it is you tough, right? Because you're right. As comics, you used to <laughs> be able to. You yeah. on stage, it's a sacred space per se. You can do crowd work, you can riff, and you can do those things. Live TV. It's pumping out thousands of people real time. And it's fast. And yeah. you're just talking. Mm-mm, you got to be prepared. You can, like, you can oh, hey, that's yeah. hey, man. It was a, it it was a difficult balance. <laughs> yeah. Let's say to walk. Hey, you be, hey, Kim. Yeah, a line. He, he Bill Cosby himself. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> then we talked about Bill Cosby. I, oh, I, I actually God. got off the subject. On live television, I did like this. We were talking about him, but we was going, and I was looking at Vanessa, and we didn't know how to get out of it. And I finally, I said, we got to stop. 
<laughs> I was like, we gonna get canceled. I, I just had to. I didn't know how. I was like, we got it. It's over. Yeah, y'all watch the documentary. I was like, finesse, yeah. we leaving this subject. So let me tell you something. Bill coming back with a vengeance. Yeah, he coming back with a vengeance. <laughs> he coming back with a vengeance. Well, and I, and I was glad to see. You know what? So, they got right. his shows on TV it. One now, so they they putting him back yeah. on TV. Yeah. So I'm glad. That's good. Yeah. Well, they I got this documentary. Rue. Yeah. Rue to the cubes. Dogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, so <laughs> Uh, okay, so all right, we know you can you can handle the 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 daytime talk. What is one of your favorite things? We because we know you from so many funny roles like Friday After Next, and mm -hmm. when you was lusting after Ice Cube, and uh, all her roles, she'd be just you know what I'm saying. Why would she be just going at them? So uh, uh, tell the story that Kim. You got to tell him the story, but you told me about because uh, the smack. Mm. You got to tell him about the smack. Oh, I thought <laughs> they knew about the smack. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, give us some uh, BTS. Um. You know, I love BTS. That behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, you rapping like she like this? Like yeah, let me. Yeah, let me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there's a scene the next Friday when I was coming down. I, I had to go back up the steps, mm -hmm. and DC Curry is supposed to hit me on my butt and send me on up. Well, the first time he hit me, I was like, "Ooh, well, that was hard." Mm -hmm. Then he hit me again, but I mean, he was killing it. Like he was hitting <laughs> yeah. as hard as he could. He said, because he thought he needed to make the sound. Right. And finally, Ice Cap, but I was my first movie, so I wasn't going to say nothing. I was just going to take it. <laughs> just going to take it. I was not saying a word. Tip take. Yeah, Ice Cube said, cut, 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 cut. He said, he said, D uh, DC, he said, man, you ain't got to hit her that hard. We're going to put the sound in later. It was his first movie, yeah, too. Oh. <laughs> they took down my skirt and my stockings and everything, and my butt was bleeding. <laughs> So they had, and it was swollen. They had to stop down anyway. <laughs> and put ice the in the Yeah, they put ice on the medic. Came in. Oh, what? No, Kim. Hey, just oh, that's so like, freaking. DC disgusting. old school. So you know he old school. Kim, that's so funny. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's, that's hilarious. hilarious. She told me that story. I screamed. I was like, <laughs> and you know, young. I didn't say nothing. I was just like, oh, oh, <laughs> take it, take oh, it. Oh. You ain't gonna mess up your first oh, yeah. movie. Take it. <laughs> If they break your legs, take it. It's just crazy. God, dang it. That's now you so you've been you you obviously you know the comedy is easy for you, and but you've done some dramatic work too. What is I I don't know as a comic, I think I I enjoy the dramatic work. Is that something you want to do more of, or you just like to keep keep mixing it up? You know, I really like drama, but I love comedy. Mm -hmm. um, drama is fun depending on the role. Mm -hmm. um, I got a drama I'm doing now, but it's a dark comedy with Ray Romano. Oh, man, mm. I love Ray. Yeah, he's good. Um, It's called Made for Love. It's on HBO Max. Oh, nice. And I play a nun who's a spy. Wait a minute. <laughs> I nun know that was a, a That's a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you a nun, oh, God. <laughs> but, but listen, but I'm a nun. Who's Ray Romano's ex girlfriend? Oh hell! No. But he left me for one of them sex dolls, oh, like them ten thousand. That's what I'm saying. It's a crazy, crazy oh, show. My oh gosh! Yeah, he left me for a sex doll. So, um, so I, I enjoy doing it, but mm -hmm. it just depends on the role, you know. That um, I like to go deep, but drama is hard. It's a lot of work. You're exhausted. Yeah, comedy's is. not tiring. Drama is. Uh, tell them the story behind Curb Your Enthusiasm. Fun, one of, I'm going to tell you uh, one of the funniest things I've ever seen. This episode of Curb. Uh, it's so funny is that as Buddy talks, when he talks about certain things, I think about him. He's attached to my whole career. He, yeah. You, you it, too, do you know that? Yes. He really invested. Like, he in it. Yeah. Uh, he is in my. They, they are tied to the hip for real, for real. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Buddy was giving me all my improv lines. Uh, he wasn't even saying a Wendy Williams show through the whole week, but he was writing for me. Even wow. though he was working, he was sending me, I would send him the subjects. He would send back, say, say this, say this, say that, which is amazing yeah. uh, friendship mm -hmm. and uh, talent that I trust him mm -hmm. because he, people, a lot of people don't know as silly as he is. He's extremely smart. Mm -hmm. And what I like is people think I just want jokes. 
I want smart jokes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want people that read. I want people that know what's going on. And I right. know that I can call Buddy immediately mm-hmm. and say, I can go from politics. Yeah. I can go from gangster rap. I can ask Buddy yeah. anything. Yeah. And he's going to be able to hit that subject. Yeah. 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 So uh, what were you asking? Me? Funniest role ever. <laughs> uh, they had to, uh, he has to pick up. Uh, oh. He wants to ride in HOV lane. Mm-hmm. So he picks up a prostitute mm-hmm. <laughs> just so he can ride, <laughs> so Larry can ride in the HOV lane. Uh-huh. And he picks up Kim and takes right. her to the game. And Wait a minute. Was that the game, the episode? That's what, where she actually saved saved so, a dude's a guy's life, life who from was going, going to prison. So going to I'm going to let you please tell that, tell that story. story. Which part of the story? It's I, a lot. The, I, I, uh, where you, one? where you, where the guy was so, sitting right behind you. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I was doing an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. And at the same time, obviously there was this girl murdered. And Wait, in real life? Like in a real, real life. life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow, okay. So we were at the stadium. We had about 400 extras, but it was a real game. Mm. And um, this guy, well, this girl got murdered, but they accused her boyfriend. Her boyfriend said, I was at the game with my daughter. Here are the tickets. I'm telling you, this justice system ain't worth nothing. Yeah. Here are the tickets. And my nine-year-old daughter testified and said, no, we were at the game. Still put him in jail. Couldn't believe it. Still put him in jail. So he said, I was at the game. And then someone said, well, you know, they were filming Curb Your Enthusiasm. But he had sat in, in jail for probably three months to the yeah. footage. And Larry David, they all went through the footage, all the lawyers, everything, finally. And they saw him. Sitting right behind yep. her. Right behind and, her. Yep. And that and was the said, only way they, they could prove that they, yep. because he couldn't have killed her. At and, the same time, and, right. been the that, and been at the game, it was impossible. That's safe. You save someone's life. Yep. And he That's... won a million dollar suit. As LAPD. he should. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get a little bit of? Then give me nothing. <laughs> I ran into him at Lies. Will Smith's son's somebody roller skating party. Wait, he an in- industry party? <laughs> Man, <when laughs> that guy, you Who get that kind of that? money. He was all up in the industry. <laughs> Making films the now. <laughs> right, right. A Latino, <laughs> he's a, a Latino <laughs> dude. Crazy. Yeah. He was in there and he's like, hey, you the girl from Curb and we talked. Wow. But there is a documentary about it if you're interested yeah. called The Longest Yard on Netflix. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's yeah. really good. Really and it tells good. the whole story yeah. of how it happened because I didn't even know all the details and I watched it. I was like, oh, damn. That's you know crazy. how you know there was gang related and all involved and yeah. it was deep. Oh wow! So yeah, that was a great, um, a great story. I called Buddy because I ran out of words. I was tired. <laughs> I, I said, I, "Buddy," I was like, I, "I, I can't keep calling Larry David a white mf." I said, "What else you got?" I was yeah. like, "That's all I'm calling him." This fool gonna say it was Super Dave was in the car. He's just passed, Super but Super Dave heard. was in the car. And they and, and uh, this fool, but he said, call him a European cockazoid. <laughs> <laughs> a cockazoid. <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> call him a cockazoid. I called him European. something. Larry <laughs> looked at me. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy cockazoid. <laughs> he's laughing. That's funny. And she was a prostitute. That was so funny. She was a smart prostitute. It was yes. hysterical. But that was a good big role because you were on that that show like consistently because of that, right? No, they brought me back. It was only one. It was just a big, just episode. big episode. Yeah, I got nominated for an Emmy. Wow. But that year, um, Arrested Development won, mm. which uh, Larry was very upset. He was like, I cannot believe we did not win and you didn't win. And wow. Kim, well, I'll tell you, Kim was a cut up, bro. It was it was great. You, so you've much had fun. Some, you've had some good, uh, some good, Roles that great stand roles. out yeah. roles. Like I, I remember the role you were you, when you played on Martin and, oh, and, and on Marlon Wayne. Marlon, Marlon, Wayne, Marlon that was my Wayne favorite when role. You with those teeth. <laughs> that was my favorite. Oh. That's another favorite role. That curb. I actually like one on one too because they let me be physical. Right. Anytime someone allows me to be physical and anytime a director just lets me go, which I just messed up on the set now, the director was like, we got one more for Kim because I always ask. They know me to call me one more. Yeah. They always leave the last <laughs> take for me. Yeah. They're like, go ahead, Kim, cut up. I came up with nothing. <laughs> And I was like, why didn't I think of something? I was and they were like, and that's right. Okay, that's, that's Margarita. They was like, all okay, right. let's get on out of here. That, they were like, that's a picture rap for Kim. I was like, damn, my hand is open. <laughs> <laughs> Got 
got rid of me. <laughs> That's too funny. I saw Lena the other day. She oh, come, did you? Yeah, she came to uh, watch Chris at the at the at the comedy. Yes, yeah, she did yeah, tell me that was, she was, was over fun. there. It was good seeing her. Yeah, yeah. Lena now, let me ask great. you a question. In uh, in um, Nutty Professor, did you had? I'm sure you had more to do, right? Yes, I, I no look at that. No one I, ever I, asked that. I, I can tell. I, I'm like, I know that she had more. To do in the story of Nutty Professor was they gave me the role of, you know, he plays his brother. Mm -hmm. You know, Eddie plays the brother too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he, I was playing the brother's ex wife. So I was supposed to come. <laughs> so he hired me to jump out of the cake mm -hmm. at his bachelor party, mm -hmm. at, at his, at the clump. It, it, yeah. at, um, <laughs> his brother, what was his brother's name? Uh, 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 Buddy Joey, Love. Uh, Not Buddy, no, Buddy Love. Professor the Clunk. Clunk. Right. Was getting married to Sherman. Janet yeah. Sherman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, his brother. It was like John or something. His yeah, brother yeah, hired me to jump out the cake. So, uh, oh, it was going to be foolish. Uh, and right up to the film, then they cut the whole thing. They cut that whole role and the part. Because then they so had sad. you as like a caretaker or something for, not a caretaker, but weren't you just, no, you were you were sitting in the house. That was it. I was just yeah. sitting, Eddie just said, I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, he said, I'm sorry. We cut the road, but you can just come and hang out for a couple of days and just be on the set and say something if you want. And I'll be honest with you. I'm glad I did. I sat in one scene in the stripper scene and all yeah, I said was, scene. woo! Yeah. $50,000 exactly. residual check. <laughs> Did you get paid? Hey, that's a story. Right. Right. I cannot I believe you remember that. Yes, yes, I remember. I said, I looked, I was like, I know that there was more. I, that's the story. I, I was in Ed TV, uh, wow. Ron Howard, Matthew McConaughey. I remember that's the demo funny. audition. Ron was so dope. I'm sitting there like, yo, this is, this is OP. Like, this is, right. oh, yeah. you know, I was excited, man. Uh, went. Uh, shot the part I played this guy who was like a young like um, MTV type who just was just always badgering mm -hmm. Matthew McConaughey's character everywhere he went boom 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 and I remember shooting it and it was probably like three or four days and I remember the movie was close to coming out and you know I get a call mm -hmm. and I was like hi and it was just I'm like yeah well, uh, please mm -hmm. hold on for uh, Mr. Howard and, my, call, and Ron called me oh, that was to nice. tell me just hey you know, just with the film, it just didn't go with, you know, he said, you didn't do nothing. Oh, you were great. Was nice but my I, I, And I'll never forget that. Right. I, I'll never forget that. Then so, he called or they cut Then he called. the Because they don't call. They, they, they don't, don't call. call. You yeah. don't know you cut. You want to hear a crazy story? Oh, oh I no, got a greatest cut story. Go <laughs> ahead. Give, give go ahead. I got a good one, too. Go ahead. Tell you what I'm going to think about if I should tell mine. Ooh, tell it. Like, tell it. All in. Tell it. We all in. Tell it. Come on, Kimley. Be oh. nice with it, though. You can be nice with it. No, not a bad. Okay. It was just how life goes. Mm -hmm. Right. I did a show with a movie with, what's our guy's name? Okay, I can't tell you. I can't remember the movie, but Kevin Hart was in it. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart's role was bigger than mine. Mm -hmm. He played... The dude's Strictly best friend. A, 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 was it? Was it? Uh, uh, no, something like a business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I'm smacking all on the mic. That's all right. Okay, we Be all in Kim. White movie. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um, that was so called, plain not too. the office. <laughs> Shut up. White. Uh, not Paul Rudd, but um, was Paul in the year? I think Paul Rudd, but he was playing. I think Paul Rudd's best friend. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And I remember we were going to, walking down the red carpet, you know, Kevin, me and Kevin Comics, we mm -hmm. knew each other. Because he was with Tori, I think, at that time, because mm -hmm. she was with him. And we sitting, he's sitting there, I'm sitting there, we watching the movie. And I was just, had, I was the office worker. And we watching the movie. And I saw him, and I was like, oh, shoot. I didn't see none of the office people. They had cut all the office people up. And then I was like, well, maybe they kept my line. That's what I'm saying, like, but we kept sitting there. Now, Kevin Hart's name came up big in the right. beginning of the film. Right. Like, you know, I was like, oh, I got to give me a front credit. Yeah. That's all, because my credit was at the back. Yeah, I need a single car. I was like, look at this, I need a single car. But then yeah. I sat there. They had cut Kevin out of the movie. I was sitting there like this with him. Mm. <laughs> what? I was like, oh, my God. Like, wow. out the whole, you could just see him. I was like, why wouldn't they call and tell him? 
But I love it because I remember they did that to him. And then I look years later now look at him. Yeah. Right. Oh, I got a story. We we mm -hmm. we had the same agent mm -hmm. uh, at UTA, um, Ruth Ann's, Ruth Ann's Kunda uh, at the time. Uh, we were flying out for announcements. You remember how we used to fly out? Yeah, to we York sure for announcements. Him. So um, he had a show on ABC. I think John Amos or mm -hmm. was playing his father mm -hmm. or something. Yep, I know the show. And we, we had. Oh, out, I know what you're about to say. I remember. We were this heading story. out there. Oh, this is horrible. And my agent told me she was like, you know, I, I really need you to, you know, kind of just be there for Kevin. Da da da. And she told me what happened. I was like. Does he know? She's like, no. So they pick the show up before he gets on the plane. By the time he lands, they they reneged. And they was like, well, just have fun, eat, you know, run up a bill. Well, <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. And, and, and I never forget that. But I saw in his face the um, devastation. But it was almost like it hit him for a minute. And then he just was... It, I don't know. It was just something. He it, it, and people. Determined. I have to say this. It's something about him when people hate on him and get mad at him. He does what other people don't do. Right. You know, a lot of people don't do the work and just that resilience. He wasn't um, overnight, right? So people don't understand. It wasn't overnight. I, I remember the days no. going to his house right there in Sherman Oaks and mm -hmm. him coming out to my house in Santa Clarita and you know just. That hunger he had, man. Well, and, it was and, not overnight. Yeah, it was not overnight at all. So when I see that that mm -hmm. success, that's a, a long-winded story, but it just goes in line with what you said that you can be cut. That's and that's, why you, you know, and that's why you that's why a lot of celebrities and entertainers, the, you know, you especially when your names, and then when you're not one or two or three on that call sheet, mm -hmm. you don't really talk about stuff because you can get you can get straight up like mm -hmm. like play. Like I was mm -hmm. in that movie, um I was in a movie called um uh The Brothers. And so I'm thinking, you know, you know, I got this I got this. I'm it's going down. Oh, that's the, what, the one with uh Bill, Bill and Bellamy, yeah, it was Bill, D. L. Hughley, yeah, yeah. and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Shamar Moore. We're uh, all in this. I have a great role. I play the guy comes out of the kitchen after Bill Bellamy's white girlfriend tosses this sister over a table in the mm -hmm. thing, and I'm like, I, I'm like, oh shit! I thought I got had a role because you know on set I'm killing. Mm -hmm. There's a everybody's laughing. My man, you see a. Uh, you see a third of my face <laughs> say my line and I'm like, man, I had the greatest line in the movie. I said, take you and Buffy the Negro Slayer and get out my restaurant. <laughs> if Why I would have said you? that full to camera <laughs> flex, I'm on my way. <laughs> he showed, man, the director got, I, man, when I I, 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 I was like, really? You got a third of my face in the camera. But did you get paid? <laughs> Did you get so paid for it? That is ridiculous. I was like, Did I was you get so... your check? Hell no, not a good one. Uh, Fuck the check. I needed the FaceTime. <laughs> I mean, because but... because one line like that, one line like that, you can be, you can go to a club. Uh, Negro Slayer Man is <laughs> at the at the improv, yeah, you know. Yeah. But you know, yeah. you know, one thing, one, one one line, one thing. I mean, look, look. I mean, I'm not, no, I'm not saying it's like that, but you can be something. Small like that in a show and and become a hit, you know. Look at look yeah. at Bra Man. I mean, all he did was oh, walk yeah. in and out of, uh -huh. you know. And, yeah. and, and Reggie Ballard is on the on the tour circuit making bang. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, all you need is one thing. So sometimes you you in these little, but you know what? I'm gonna use my credit though, Kanye. No, use um, your credit because what and, and didn't you? What was your other credit? What you like, Beyonce, one. Daddy? I was in and something Beyonce's and... first movie. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's right. What was your role in Beyonce's first movie? But tell uh, tell people. Uh, I had two roles in that movie. I played uh, the preacher and Aunt Gert. I was in a. I was in a. I was. A, a, don't don't look at me like that. Kanisha. You had the dress on. I had the dress on. <laughs> Glasses. You know what they say? Beer. About the dress. Nay, it ruins your career and it sure ruined mine. <laughs> <laughs> But it helped me, but I'll say. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. It was between myself and Miguel for Juana Man. <laughs> I'm just going to let that out. You lying. Yeah. And, and I don't know if that's yeah. a story you want to tell. I had to. You got what? beat out by Miguel. That's a. No. Well, I think him man. and uh, the director, they were really good friends. They were friends. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they were really good friends. That. But because anybody who knows, Yo, Flex can play ball for real. Right. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I'm like, I got this. I'm like right. killing them, man. Right. 
And, and I remember how could you play I in used, a dress? I used Lisa Leslie's suit <laughs> for the audition because I didn't want to put on a dress. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Because I didn't want to put on a dress. Yes. That's hysterical, yes, bro. Yes. The people who made my clothes made her clothes and say, Oh, we got we got a, a suit for at least Leslie that she hasn't worn yet. You can wear. I was like, yes, yeah, yeah. I, I but, yeah. But is that a role that you that you wish you would have gotten? Or are you fine? No, not having now to where we are, like I'm glad I didn't because I I got Michael Jackson. That's yeah. Enough. I was about to say. So I don't need I don't need more. Wow. Speaking uh, of Michael Jackson, <laughs> I don't need more. I, speaking of Michael Jackson, I still got your VHS tape. This Negro here. <laughs> that's how long I've been trying to give it to him. Listen, that's well, how. Listen, I know y'all think I'm lying. That's how long you won't take it. We that's go back. Hysterical. That, and that's how long there wasn't even a social media. I gave you the tape. Let me show a VHS tape to watch. Of the movie. Sure did. Proud. Like, here you go. I'm like, yeah. But look, you did your thing. It was just. I was pasty. Yeah, yeah it was just some makeup <laughs> choices. Yeah, but you did it your was, thing. It, listen, you the production. Was pasty. Listen, the production. <laughs> we were shot that up in Calgary, first of all. When I stepped into the, to the makeup trailer and I saw the prosthetic nose, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not putting that shit on. That that, I'm not putting that shit on. I'm not. Oh when they brought God. out the airbrush and started airbrushing my skin, I That's said, funny. I, I, I pulled the producer to the side. I said, hey, man, you know, I got a makeup artist in L.A. that would be amazing. No, no, we're good here. We got a local crew. I'm like, mm. Where yeah. was it? Calgary. Oh, mm. Canada. Canada. Yeah. I'm, fact, I'm supposed to go. I'm going to Gary. They're doing a big. Uh, they uh, have Gal Gary, Canada? No. I'm Indiana. going to Gary, Indiana. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I like said, your attitude. He said it like, I, yeah, I'm I don't really like your tone right now. I don't like your attitude right now. Tone is bad. So you okay. go to Gary so for- I'm going to Gary, Indiana. Uh, they're doing a Michael Jackson tribute because oh, okay. um, they're going to try and open a, you know, turn the house oh, into, uh, a into, into, into a museum <laughs> yeah. and move it. Uh, one of the things they're trying to do, uh, I talked with the senator- uh, state senator there, and um, uh, they're trying to make an old high school, Roosevelt High School. They're trying to make it like a, 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 a art student for the thing for the arts, mm -hmm. you know, and put the museum into the school. Oh, you know, so they're trying to buy the school, and because they got, I mean, so they're doing a big old thing. Um, and I'm going uh, on the 18th of, of February. I'm going to be in. That's dope. Well, I definitely. And I'm a Gary native. Wow. So, you know, talent comes out of Gary. Well, I, I definitely won't be doing part two. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you you are flex. No, I, I thought you were. Well, well, Kim, are there any roles that you feel like that you don't regret not getting? Like you see it now and you're oh, like, oh, awesome. thank God. Yeah. Like, give us a couple of yeah, the movies that we know <laughs> that you were up for, like, you know, and you didn't get. Like. Give us some good ones. Oh my God. I know. I know. There's a few that you popular ones. Yeah, because if you don't tell, I'll tell. Because you had me reading the audition, so I'll tell. So you better. Tell. You know any? I can't remember any. Which one of those frustrated? Kim over here struggling. She's she sleeping. You got to sleep. You got you know? to get them out of your mind. <laughs> right, but there have been some that I was on the floor about, and then they came out, and I was like, <laughs> "Thank you." Right, I said, "The Lord know what He's doing." But then there's some that I was like, damn, I wish I would have like lost. I, I, y oh. yeah. Can y'all move this out the way? Oh. <laughs> can y'all take the I'll, crack I'll away from it? Oh, that's yeah, like, right. You did, you did tell me you were out for loss. I, we, can go, we can go back. I, I'll volley with you. Okay. Okay. Blue lost. Bloods. Blue Bloods. I was Donnie Wahlberg's original partner. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. What it, happened? It, it, was a, it turned into a white man though, right? And then a Span it was a Spanish lady. Huh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they never. He never ended up getting a solid partner. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what they. I did the pilot. I was. I mean, I remember shooting in New York and talking to producers like, "Okay, we're gonna give you the, you know, the uh, number, the locations, person. You gotta find a place here." I'm like, they're like, "This is going Tom Selleck." Like we knew that going in, it right. was going. This wasn't a pilot to see. It was like we're doing this just for. You know, good measure, right? Um, and I was. What have they been on? Eight seasons now, yeah. ten seasons. Ten seasons. I, this was my retirement, Kim. Oh, so, you need to go slit your wrist. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I almost did, Kim. Oh God, oh, God. that's so funny. I almost oh, did. <laughs> Listen, 
I'm like, I'm the pilot. It's supposed to go away. The, the promotion, the pilot's going. I mean, I got the gun. I'm like, you I'm didn't like, burn candles. All my stuff oh went my, away. Yo, <laughs> they didn't make it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna burn these candles. I, listen, <laughs> listen. I was, I was like, this is it. I'm like, this is it right here, Mama. We made it, yeah. Mama. We so, made it. So didn't get it. Then uh, so what happened was, you know, mm. we're waiting. You know, we, I finished <laughs> shooting it. Everybody's like. Oh man, great man! Director's like, I'm so glad I fought for you. And Leonard Goldberg, who's producer, is legendary producer, did SWAT and all these other shows. He really fought for me, and because I had to go back like three or four times to mm. prove that I could do drama, because man. they they only knew me as from comedy. Oh. Les Moonves mm -hmm. knew my career from when he was Homeboys and I was Homeboys that over. And over <laughs> and he was over Disney, and uh, he was over. Then he just over. Uh, he was over. I forgot where else he was, but mm -hmm. I had a show there. CBS. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, before, was CBS. before CBS. Oh, okay. Um, right. So he knew me as a comedian. So they, I just kept going back in. I literally, yeah. I literally was all that right. I was auditioning, audition. I, I went in. Boom. They said, "I want to see you again." I went in again. So I went in and I'm testing with all these people. I go in. I see the, the guy who was going up for. Donnie Wahlberg's part, he's a big star now. Um, I'll tell you what he was in, but uh, we're all in there. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm just like, yo, what I gotta do? So literally, my agent calls me, my manager's like, listen, they wanna see you one more time. Now this is after I did the oh. last one. They wanna see you again, they just want you to come in. It was 7.30 at night. It was like, she's coming in just to put you on tape. They wanna just one more time and they are gonna send it up. I'm like, okay, I go. Boom, 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 and then I go, and I'm, I'm, uh, I think I was going. It was like a midweek service at a church piece to go to. Mm -hmm. So in there, you know, and then um, get the call, and then I see it's my my agent. I run out. She was like, "Hey, hey, where are you?" I said, "What well, was that church? What's going on?" She was like, "You know, you got it, you got it." I'm like, "What are you kidding?" She said, "You got it, you got it." She was like, "But only one thing." I'm like, "What? You got to fly out in the morning." Oh. I was like, "Oh, all I was right, like, cool. shit, okay, cool." So we did it in Toronto and New York. Go do all that. I mean, it's great. Like I'm, you know, hanging with Donnie. Donnie's like, "Yo, man, we're flying back." They were just starting to open up the uh, Wahlberg. Wahlberg. He was like, "Yo, man, fly with us." I they was flying a private plane back, and I was like, "Nah, I'm a chill. I just want to stay focused." <laughs> Do all of that. Um, we shoot it. You know, everybody's That's happy. I was just about we, to say, you should have went to Walmart. Yeah, the plane. I should have went to the plane. Went she got some Walmart. Sandwich. Got uh, but sandwich. I, but I had known son. Donnie for years. And right. Mark and Donnie, I knew when I was a dancer. And when Mark was with the Funky Bunch, he was with uh, Mark Jackson's brother, right. Troy. Mm -hmm. With Mark and Mark and the Funky Bunch. Uh, he was a rapper. Feel the vibration. No. Uh, oh, so then, I didn't yeah. know any of this. So Donnie... I knew him as well. He dated what a friend of mine. What was you dancing friend. on? Uh, solid gold? What no. <laughs> I, I, don't go, I don't go that far back. Um, but listen, so so uh, uh, anyway, known him for years, all that. So, you know, finish. Everybody's excited. You know, they're like, we know, you know, Asian, you know, this is getting picked up. So I'm sitting there. And wifey's looking through. She's like, I'm looking. See? And she said, oh, honey, it's got picked up. It got picked up. And I'm sitting there. And I know from doing upfronts, I should be in New York. Right. And I sat there, I said, babe, they're not picking up my option. What do you mean? It's right here. I, they're not picking up my option because I know I should be there. Right. Call Donnie, they're there. I'm like, yeah, man, thanks for everything. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean, man? We sitting here talking about you right now. I was like, yeah, you know, posthumously. <laughs> and, and I didn't get it. And what? it crushed me. Because but why didn't you get it? I'm trying I, to say. They said that they wanted to, because his character was married, they wanted to add some kind of complication for him, give him a female character to add complication at, at mm -hmm. home. Uh, so they 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 uh, hired a Jennifer Esposito. Um, she went on. I mean, that didn't work. They they had several, you know, coming and just mm -hmm. never, you know, never mm -hmm. worked. And and then it's so, you know, clear. It's the family. It's about their family. That right. it's like where would they have fit my my character? Because mm -hmm. Leonard Goldberg was like, look, we got storyline for your arc and all that stuff. Right. And then you know, and I found out some other things of you know uh, after that that why well, I didn't get it, but. I won't go into that, but didn't see um, it with the right first. No, <laughs> but yeah. So I. So that's mine. So now you shoot. Tracy Morgan show. Oh man, uh, that was one. No story behind it. No story. Oh yeah. What? 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 What?
No, they fired me. <laughs> yeah, you should have slept with Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Nobody wants to sleep with Tracy. Oh, Don't nobody want to sleep with Tracy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I got one for you. Uh, juice. What? It was between me and Omar Epps. But you were in Juice. But I was up for the lead role. You was up in, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they, they liked me, and they was like, man, this kid's going to do Just give him something. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Go oh, Maybe it was just a height thing. I don't because know. Because you, you, you way taller yeah, you than Pop. Way, yeah, you way too tall for Pop. They probably like, oh, this yeah, don't really match yeah, up height yeah, yeah. <laughs> You would have been beat up. Know. You ain't no yeah, man. Nobody going to five, seven Pop and your six, four ass. It wouldn't even look right. Shut up, Pop. Yeah, You got the juice now, Omar. But but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a story about Pop. Like when I knew, I was like, oh, this this motherfucker got it. Right. We're doing an audition. And we were there. We spent it. They they narrowed it down. So to all the, it was like one extra guy there for the same role. So they were mixing and matching. So I was going in with different people. I go in with Pac. We're doing the scene by the locker when mm -hmm. he's at the locker oh, and really blowing really the really dust really off really the book. Mm -hmm. And then he closes. He's like, hey, "What's up?" And uh, so we're doing that scene. So we're doing it, boom, boom, boom. And then I turn around, and he turns. He's like, "I right, Pac," and he. Smacks me on the ass, like just improv and I'm in there. I'm like, I was like, yo, man, you stupid. Like, not being locked in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was just locked in, locked in, like all the way in. And and that, not saying that scene made a difference, but his focus. And he had come there with Tretch to read. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even reading. He came with Tretch. Mm. Tretch was reading for the role. Wow. And they was like, yo, you, you. Can you you act? I remember you act? Yeah, I remember Trish. Say, can you act? You want to read? He was like, yeah, yeah. Took it, boom. That's that's how he he got. Wow, vision. amazing. Yeah, wow, amazing story. Yeah, because were you were you were you, were, were you dancing with some of those people or you know like because there were a whole bunch of hip hop celebrities. Yeah, that's Queen Latifah. No, that's hysterical. <laughs> wow, wow. I used to live downtown, one twenty ninth Street, convent. <laughs> Everything. S V S one W. No, I was at Salt Pepper. I did okay. Latifah. I did a what? her song called Fly Girl. Oddly enough. Omar was dancing in that video as well. You lied. No, no. Oh. He was in a group called Men of Vision or Vision, something like that. Get out of and, here. And uh, we were dancing in it. If you go back That's and see Fly Girl, we're in that we're dancers in that video. That's wow. too Yeah, funny. but no, I had just started kind of, you know, breaking out you know, from the dancing. Mm -hmm. I would still do it. Um, but that was my first like and I remember being crushed that I didn't get that. And Salt was like, don't worry about it. You're going you're gonna to be fine. You're going to go on. You're going to do great things. She said, you ain't even going to be with us for that long. And I was like, no, I'm going to be out with dance forever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they get pushing real good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they like this, not with us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they were, they were so supportive because I used to, on the road, I would... They used to come all the <laughs> way from Queens. They would come to the Uptown Comedy Club and they would support me, watch my set. Man. So they was just like, yo, why don't you open for us? So when we went on the road, I would go out, do 30 minutes, come back, change, and then come out and dance. You doing triple duty. You had hey, to bring the luggage man. in, the crates, we did that too. speakers. Come oh, they paid on. extra for all that. Change. I was getting all that bread. <laughs> get that bread, boy. Get that bread. Get that, get that bread. Another one. The bread. What's homie? another one? The get bread. Yeah, that's good. I can't remember now. If you'd have told me, I'd have looked them up because I couldn't remember it. Um, there was so many. Well, I don't know the ones you This you, one recently. Movie or TV? Movie. 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 Big role that I didn't get. Well, I didn't get it because it was a, it, because I was booked in miscommunication. Uh, Kings of Napa. Oh, oh. wow. Mm. Man. You would have been great on that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, did, did you ever go out for... Now, I'm going to ask you, because there are some movies and shows that I've seen with people in them, and I'm like, did you, did you, did, do you ever see a film and go, dang, why didn't I get a call for that? Like, you know, like, like oh yeah, man, like, listen, like, I see, I'm sitting here now. Like, you, you said something. I'm like, why, why do you know about that? Like, it's crazy. I'm like, where, where was I? It's something you just mentioned. What's the Oprah show? What's the one uh, 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 um. About the family in New Orleans, Queen Sugar. Queen, Queen Sugar. Sugar. You, I, I know you should have been on something on Queen Sugar. You never been. In, 
That's a damn good show. At this point, I, I there's did, so I, many movies and shows and platforms and, and things. Yeah. If y'all went out for everything, you you die. Like it's yeah. too much. That's but a lot of going out. But not everything. But when you see, now I'm not saying everything. When you see your because there's a it's I mean, your type. Yeah, there's a type. Mm -hmm. it, you know, I'm into this whatever range. When you see somebody else and you know that's your same, you're like, okay, I should have been there. Mm -hmm. I at least got a, at least got a, at least got know, a shot. It, it, Give me yeah. a shot. And, and not in a, you know, angry. angry just like, yeah, yeah. Well, what, what, what happened? You know? Right. Yeah. And got, you guys are, you guys have had a fantastic career. And I know in Kim's homework. case, homework. Kim, when you book Kim, Kim going to kill it. Oh, yeah. You going to kill it. So, Always. you know, that, Thank you. you just going to bring it. So I can see, you know, you seeing and, and everybody seeing you in, in that role, but. What, whatever everything you have done, you've murdered. It. Especially, what, what, what was it? Um, what was Lena Waithe's show with Aziz? Oh, Master of None. You Master killed like that, that scene and, and that Another episode. Another Emmy nominated yeah, show. I was, was like, I ain't got an Emmy alone. yet. Every show, I, the shows I've been on got the Emmy. Lena got the Emmy. I did not. They ain't say it's like Little Richard. They ain't never gave me nothing. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> 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 that yeah, that was a good one. That was they a gave really great me role. a relationship with Lena, and then she put me on Twenties, and now I have my own uh, podcast. That's out. right, Twenties. You're on there too. That's right. Oh wait, you got your own podcast. Tell us about that. Well, it's a it's a sleepy podcast, right? Yeah, your ass sleepy. I'm so tired. <laughs> she moving in like, slow motion. I, <laughs> but you know what? I, you know why I got tired, y'all? Cause y'all let me eat sugar. I don't eat sugar. That was them. Uh, so I'm not supposed to even have sugar. So I was like, boom, boom. so it took me straight. I, it's like a drug. Yeah, sugar just makes me go straight. I, and I I'm know telling I, everybody on Monday too. You ate the sugar. You know, <laughs> I ain't had no sugar. sugar. Yeah. I was, I, I'm gonna mm -hmm. go to bed right yeah. this second. <laughs> yeah. it, do you see? I came in and then all of a sudden I ate that sugar. I see. But I know that and. Uh, but I'm so I'm hungry. I should have had fruit here for you. I'm sorry. That was still sugar. I should have ate something on the set. Um, but um, what was we talking about? The podcast. <laughs> the podcast. <I> guess. <laughs> it's not really. Okay. Let's call it a audio story. Remember how they used to have radio back in the yes. day with yeah, stories yeah, yeah, on yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So Lena Waithe has done a show for me called Kim. Mm -hmm. And it is about. Uh, the show I did, like Raising Whitley, mm -hmm. but it's actual scripted. Oh, okay. um, mm. And it is, actually was a lot of fun, and that should be out this summer. That's dope. You know, Kim, you know what? We need to go back and talk. I'm going to go, I'm, I have a little meeting with uh, Sheeta Ducksworth soon. Oh, uh, good. We need oh, to go I, back and redo. I'm going to repitch Complicated. <laughs> oh, Complicated. <laughs> I just want to call. I love Sheila Ducksworth. Yes. We, we, we're, She's doing uh, well. I can't She's doing well. say. Well, it, it, it's one on one related, so she's mm. she's she's doing some, some she's doing some stuff. big things. Oh, what's up with that? Are we doing reboots? I, 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 I the mean, reboots are very just, popular. Yeah, now. We're, we're we're you know we're, no no hate to uh, no hate to Kelly Perrine, but you need another friend. Oh, yes. <laughs> where is Kelly? Kelly, man, Kelly's great, great, dude. great, great, great. Dude. Dude. He was yeah. doing a Nickelodeon show. Yeah, I know. with the King, the Knights, yeah, some Knights and Knights or something. And Robert Richard now is doing an amazing job on Harlem. He yeah. did an amazing job. Like he, that's what I always saw. Saw him, you know, growing into um, Which when, when was he was it? young. Robert was, Richard, he played Arnez. Yes. Uh, he was light yeah. eyes. Yeah, uh, yes. yeah. Yes. 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 Kyla. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, I remember. He, I was, Kyla's doing. Kyla's doing, doing they she's they call me she's Cat. Doing, yeah, and, she, and, yeah. and she's doing. And they are uh, bringing out episodes of the Proud Family. Proud again. Family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming back. So yeah, yeah. And she's starting to, uh, you know, shadow directors. She wants to direct and stuff. So yeah, I'm. I'm so so. So proud of her. If there's one thing, man, one of the best times of my life was was with those five and a half years. That was one of the best times of my life. It was I great had to people. beg to get on the show. No, I you did. Got on there. No, you did. Playing his crazy, some crazy well, woman hey, or something after you. Wasn't, wasn't me. Didn't I jump through a window? It was something you did. What? <laughs> 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 Always desperate. <laughs> Makes it for funny. Kim, we're gonna have you jump through this window, <laughs> climb through the window. That's yeah. hysterical. Climb through the window. Yeah. It and took the turkey or something out the Yeah, window. yeah. <laughs> I was like, why y'all got Kim doing that, man? Come on. Kim's always playing crazy characters on stalkers. And, and that was the episode where it was all like all of uh my ex-girlfriends or something in yeah. the living room. Like Davika was on oh, there. Yeah. It, was a, it was like six of them in there. All that's the hilarious. And it was funny. It was in um, Kelly's apartment, actually. That's too funny. Yeah. That's but, too funny. Yeah, I got another one for you. Um Damn. Uh, Manifest. Man, what? Yeah. yeah. The NBC out, show. Yeah. The NBC yeah. said Manifest. What happened? I love that show. Yeah, it was a Latin guy who's who's the lead. 
Yeah. <laughs> What do you do in these Do you leave them with something? I I go in there. I listen. I love dramatic. Yeah. I I have. Are you looking at them in the eye I'm, when they do I, it? Listen. I go hard. Like I, I'm off book. Um. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't be bullshit, man. You know. And I don't go. It's not like you know. I man. need this. No. Job. But I get connected to the material. And I go and, it, and and it's like you said. It's draining in a different way because you build up. You prepare. You go and then it after it's just like oh my. God, but I just love it, man. I love, I love the preparation. There's something the auditions now. are exhausted. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, it's new. What do you feel about Zoom? Zoom auditions. auditions. I just did one the other day with They're the director. Weird. I was done. It's, it's. I told him I was like, this is so hard. In the but... Zoom producer sessions, like I did one that was delayed. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm. They're trying to talk, and I'm still doing the scene. Yes. <laughs> and I, it just is so. But people are booking. Off of I hate audition. I hate I hate Zoom auditions oh with where they have a reader. I like like you know what I I I, yeah. I I've almost I, the next time I get one because I had one and the girl she that was reading with me it was like a little baby delay. So I'm yeah. like she's you know she's reading and then you can and and it sounds like this yeah. and I'm just like. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't speak yeah. up and enunciate, I can't hear yeah. you. I had to stop once. I was like, no, we need to do this again because I really couldn't hear. And you know, you like you look like a you know yeah. an asshole. You know, but actor. They, but they gotta know it's tough. Yeah, they, it's they tough. Gotta know, yeah. They gotta it's know tough. It's tough. It's 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 tough. I gotta prepare for this one now. It's just doing a shooting in Budapest, and Ooh. I mean, I've got like I'm talking. This is. You play another da- army da- man, David Mammoth, like oh, yeah. dialogue. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, you got David. them big old chunks. Yes, oh. which I love. I love those better than the little lines in right. between. Right, like, those I love because I right. can. But the little ones in between, if like, I say something, oh. you say something, you say something, I gotta say something. I'm fucked oh. up. <laughs> yeah, oh, poor, you, you, you are you are crashing him. Oh, uh, oh, drink some water. Yes, poor that's Kim. what I need. Mean. Yeah, we almost there. We I'm almost there. Smack you in the face. Okay, I'll go to jail to make sure you. I'll go to jail to make sure this podcast is hot. <laughs> All right, it's a question. Uh, well, uh, it's showing people at home, don't eat sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you already hungry. Oh, God. I'm about to stop and get you something to eat, Kim. Mm-hmm. Nothing open. It makes sense. Uh, number fast food. Yeah, Why he nothing's do that open. Too? Get a fast bur- I get a fat burger. Some tacos. We can get some street tacos. Um, one of the questions I like to ask every guest is, what... Would Kim now say to your 17, 18 year old self, what advice would you give? Besides, don't eat sugar. <laughs> no, I was going to say, should have slept with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yep. Your daddy's gonna hear this. Oh my god. You just say it too. (laughs) (laughs) We I could have been out of this house, Kim. Oh yeah. (laughs) The dudes I went through but didn't go through. That's hilarious. My virginity. But but you had some loves though, we know. You've had some loves though. Yeah, they did. <laughs> this was making oh my yeah, god I mean, so wrong. Wrong. oh my god I mean but that's real they, they, you know that was my boy you know my girl yeah yeah that was my boy that was my boy too yeah. but and nobody we, tell his ass to leave he was too young to leave right he, he loved you man when did you meet oh. Gerald how he old were y'all you. High Gerald school. LeVert, for y'all listening or watching, yes, Gerald, Gerald LeVert. LeVert. High school, right at high, high school. school. Yeah. And then, uh, this is the one that got me. Uh, Kim, listen, take the football. She, I remember you were going to Derek Thomas's thing, and I oh, told Kim, told I said, me. Kim, just make sure you get a football sign for You me. did. I didn't think nothing about it. That was my boy. Yeah, I, I remember DT, no man. Love DT. He was crazy. It. He was so much fun. He was so much fun. DT was with me in my early years of Hollywood. And we were such good friends that we're talking about Derek Thomas that played Kansas, for the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. Yes. 58. And uh, number 58. And he was like, when I first got my first movie, my first sitcom, and he always called me Dog. My uh-huh. name was Dog. And so I, what I realized when I look back on it now, mm-hmm. my older self looking at my younger self, yeah. I wasn't nothing but a madam. I was nothing but <laughs> I was holding his hose. Yeah. <laughs> I know that sound wrong, but the truth is this: he would fly me everywhere, and I was like, "This is my 
<laughs> Live be everywhere. And then he'd be like, uh, look here, Kim. Um, you gonna stay up in this VIP room. Uh, they're gonna call her. They're gonna Shaminka. And they're gonna rob it. Keep them busy. I'm going downstairs. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> As soon as one of them go, hey, 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 where you going? Oh, you can't, no, 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 no. He said, don't come downstairs. Come on over here and sit down. We're staying in this VIP room till you come back up here. That's freaking hilarious. I had gotten so used to that. The Super Bowls, the uh, wow. Pro Bowls, they come, and he would, you know, have them there. Yeah. And I was just really, you know, and keeping them and watching them. I was yeah. like, I was uh, Heidi Fleiss. <laughs> That's hilarious. You was the manager. Line. I was the manager. <laughs> that is the manager. <laughs> <laughs> you the fucker. Ri- oh, the fucker. <laughs> the fucker. That was my boy. That was my best friend. So he took care would, of me. What would your, okay, so I do it in reverse. Um, it's probably a little weird, but, you know, what would your 17 year old self, right, tell your older self now um, to prepare for? Like, if you could go back, if you were in your 17 year old mind, like, hey, watch out for this, this, make sure you do this, don't do this, and whatever. Oh, my 17 year old self yeah. would have been. Do you, you cuss on there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it seemed so clean. You know, you've always been built so clean. You never heard me say maybe that's, motherfucker and shit. I'd never heard <laughs> you. Maybe that's what you should have done. Because <laughs> you was. <laughs> you didn't hear me say that? You didn't hear me say that? You were younger. Yeah. Um, no, I think my younger self would have told my older self, fuck love, marry for money first. Mm. Wow. That's horrible. But I mean, it's real. It's the truth. When I look at it, mm. or my younger self would have told my older self, don't be so afraid. Mm. That's powerful. And not and, and being afraid of a lot of things, but don't be afraid of love. Don't be afraid of dating. Yeah. Um, don't be afraid of life and things that happen because that's what's supposed to happen right. because fear stops you from a lot of things Definitely. in life. I would probably have a lot of kids yeah, right now. I'd be married. I'd be on my third marriage. No, you, you know, you, just you having You would have my... been with Buddy Lewis. Fear stopped you. Uh-oh. No, no. STDs Uh-oh. stopped me. Oh, okay. And Kim. reputation. Kim. <laughs> what are we hearing here, man? <laughs> what if Kim, he just shot I'll, his shot? I, Kim, he shot no, that no, shot. no, I'm going to tell you what happened. It's a true shot. story. Oh, okay. God, okay. God, here we go. Yeah, right. So Kim is a... We got, Kim, we got, five, we got five minutes left. Okay, right, this is going to be real quick. We got to be so good Kim, to Kim, good. Kim is walking across Howard University's campus. Uh, she's a fist exchange student. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a senior. Kim's... Freshman and a Q, and I'm a Q mm-hmm. sitting with the bros under the tree. Loud, mm-hmm. loud. We all thank you. Loud in this purple blue Bargain, tone. Blue yeah, I got my, I got my gold. But I'm, I'm out gold. there. I'm out there eating, eating chicken with the bros. Outside. This vision of hot candy, eye oh, candy, shit. comes walking across the yard, and I'm like, oh shit! I'm like, I don't know this one. Mm, let me see oh, who is this yeah. I'm like oh man who's the girl hey, man who's that freak coming across camp loud I get a smack to the back of my head foul I'm like what man it's my sister I'm like oh shit <laughs> oh, my no. brother Scott pledged him walk, I, Scott wasn't even around when I was talking, oh. I'm like yeah I'm finna get with this I'm finna get with this right here <laughs> oh yeah He's like, I oh, mean, who's that freak right now? Why? And why? Bah, you, hits me in the back of the head. Talking like that on um, campus. He hits me in the See? back of the head. Yep. And he's like, "Yo, man, this is my sister Kim. Kim, this is Buddy, the bird." She's. I'm like, oh. and that just ruined it. Yep. Yeah. Now, so is now that, but is that a rule? Like, it, it, listen, that? there were there were there were there were some women that were mm-hmm. off. Like, you had to right, really, right. really like, like. You, no, you, it had to be a whole. There was a. There was a. There was some. Talk now, I understand that had to be if done. it was. I understand if it was Bruh, like a friends, uh, 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 ex or something. Uh, 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 well, they and, know and, the no, real no. buddy though. No, 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 no. There was the tongue with sisters, uh-huh. uh, uh, family, like real family friends. Mm-hmm. You know, like this is my girl. You know, yeah. and 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 exes that were like, if you were like, it's a difference between an ex 
and a side piece. Like, right. you know, it's like, bro, come on, man. You yeah. I dated her for three years. Yeah, yeah. I, man, I've been sleeping with her. You, know, you had to, you had to, <laughs> you know, you had to do that. And sisters were like, that was off limits. You had to go like talk to the bro prince, like, yo, man, yeah. I really like your sister. Da, da, da. You oh, they still to would, yeah. they had My brothers wouldn't. Yeah. Derek Thomas, too. So Kansas yeah. City Chiefs. I was like, is something wrong with me? I was smelling my breath. All that. None of the Kansas City Chiefs would talk to me. And I was like, this is so crazy. And then I realized Derek okay. told every yeah. last Le- one of leave them, her alone. leave her That's alone. That's my sister. That's my girl. I was like, this is selfish. Yeah. Then it was like protection. And you're like, get away from her, man. This is yeah. my boy's. Yeah. You know, then yeah. you like, then you ran cock block. You know, it's yeah. like, you, yeah. you, you cock block like, yo, and you be telling him, hey, don't mess with that nigga. He ain't shit. Right, <laughs> right, right. And you would be hating. Yeah. You know, he got a girlfriend over at yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they would tell me that, everything. That is crazy. So it would have been. So I've been knowing him a long time. time. Oh. And, and, well, and, maybe and, if you wouldn't have called her a freak. Yelling out, maybe yeah. could have went another yeah. way. Listen, so I'm gonna put that, that on you, buddy. They were all that. But I'm you know sorry, what? Were... I'm glad it didn't happen because what I've gotten out of Buddy right. and the value <laughs> him as a husband would have been horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the bullshit <laughs> and the laziness <laughs> and the cuss outs he would have received. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, you look yeah. back and you look at your friends and. You ever have you ever looked at oh man my your exes or anybody said that one got away or I'm glad I didn't get I with that one. Yeah. I, I got, got nobody. I'm, gl- I'm like away. I'm glad I ended up you yeah, know, right where God. you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember your ex. Oh, okay. Which one? Huh? This was before. <laughs> oh, right, exactly. right. Because yeah, it was a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about that on the radio. Oh no! I listen. I listen. <laughs> he been my, married a hundred years now. My wife. My wife. Listen. <laughs> she probably wanted him to go get something yeah. else somewhere else. She probably tired of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you get to uh, a point. Not that Taurus. Oh no. Oh no. That's my. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> he don't play. I love at that. Oh, baby, we coming up on twenty two years, man. Twenty two wow, years. That's nice. Yeah, February nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice. Yeah. What are the keys oh, to how long is it? Oh, oh you want to go here? I'm Buddy, sorry. I am single. I am single. She's ready to mingle. Ready to mingle, but I, with the right person. I ain't yeah. I ain't with no riffraff. When you say person, does it mean boy or girl? No, it's just a boy. Okay. Yeah. It, but he has to have his stuff together. I can't do no. Boy, you that's can't the be first broken problem. and have all this trauma. It's, 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 I do not have time for the baggage. There ain't no boys coming looking for you. I don't have time. You can have a little baggage, maybe one suitcase, but you can't come with a whole carload. I just can't do that. What sign are you? Sagittarius. Oh, workaholic. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That was my dad. 16th, December 16th. My grandmother was December 6th. Sagittarius, boy. Sad. Where were you? Cancer Leo. Cancer. Cry and cuss you out. <laughs> Craziest Can't shit. You. Y'all, are, y'all, are, y'all try to save the world. Y'all. Yes. Yeah. You know so, my cousin Ed Grapevine, big fella. He was on my. He was on on the show. He was on cuts. Yeah, 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 he's yes. Like, he cancer. He's the same way, man. He's oh yes, I remember everybody, everybody up yeah. a cancer. Yeah. Someone just said that about me today. They were like, "Don't worry, Kim. They know you are always trying to fix somebody, <laughs> fix it, help somebody." And my brother here, my Aries brother right here. Yes, sir. All day. That's <laughs> why you all uh-huh. wild. Oh, no, no, no. We'll... Ram! Bam! Ram! <laughs> bam! <laughs> bam! Bust your head. Bam! Actual depiction of Buddy in action. And why you ain't never talked to Buddy? Why I don't talk to Buddy? Why ain't Dre never got with him? Oh. With him? <laughs> she, she with this with, with, with him? Well, I have a father, so I don't know. <laughs> I gotta, gotta, Kim, I got a dad, you know? I have a daddy. And low key, y'all. buddy, you like the same age as my dad. I think. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a dad. I got a daddy already. And? She's like, I got a daddy. You, you I, can have another one. <laughs> with a little sugar on She it. said, <laughs> I got a daddy. <laughs> I don't need to be a zaddy. I don't need to have a zaddy. Yeah. Hey, zaddy, zaddy love is no. good. My, ma- my max age is about 45. Okay, I'm old. I'm yeah, interesting. Older. Yeah, I can't do it. And if you're older, that's fine. You just gotta, you can't be like That's so funny. Old Her, your, your max age is 45 going up. My max age is 45 going down. <laughs> that's hysterical. Like this, man, you can't be lower than you can't 45. Be 45. <laughs> that is a <hilarious>. little <laughs> You are a mess. Ain't nobody kid. want a little baby. Ain't nobody no babies. I mean, grown ass woman. I will excuse you. It your does make a difference. It does make a difference. I will excuse you. It does. Because I, I didn't know a lot of stuff I know now and what I didn't know then. 
Ooh, man. Mm-hmm. Listen, man, it, it, it is, it's, it's, I'll say this before we get out of here, man. It's, it's, you know, 22 years, you, you learn and, and you go through, people think, oh, you get married, it's all blissful and nothing changes. People Mm-mm. change, people evolve, and it's all about that yin and that yang and, 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 you know, wanting to work with it. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to. And, wanting to. You know, that's, that's the thing. You know, you got people who just say, I quit. You know? Yeah, uh, I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> no doubt about that. Mm, uh, yep, this is old. <laughs> you stupid man. But anyway, Kim, thank you. I know you're tired. I feel so bad. I thank don't you for feel bad here after work. Just, I'm glad I, I stayed out because you. now he should be in the bed by now. And buddy, you gonna make Joshua. sure she get. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. Make sure. No, oh, my, oh my God, okay. Let him know. Oh. And buddy, where can we find you? <laughs> Anywhere you want to oh. find me. <laughs> Your living room, if you. Nah. Uh. In jail. <laughs> buddy Lewis jokes on uh, uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram when I get back on and on they Twitter. Kicked you off? They kick me off. I'm this banded. Canelia? You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Canelia. Also, listen to Black News Podcasts available on all apps where podcasts can be heard. Kim, where can everybody find you? And tell us what you have coming up. Across the board, you can find me at, at Kim Whitley, K-Y-M W-H-I-T-L-E-Y uh, Please go to vote.naacp uh, imageawards.net yes. yes. and vote Two for Two Funny Mamas Podcast yes. under yes. podcast and um, uh, yeah there's some comedy shows going on I'm on HBO Max on a show called Made for Love you can watch 20's the season and what else am currently I Kim is going and, and Kim I'm going to force her in I'm telling you right now ladies and gentlemen is I listen to what I say this year by the end of the year we're going to be preparing. Kim Whitley is going to do a comedy special yes, in the yes. next year. She needs to do it. From a year from now, she needs next, by next, I'm telling you, Kim is going to have that a comedy special. If I have to write it yeah. myself yes. and force her to do it, I we're going to make Kim Whitley do it. Forced. We're nice. going yes. to have a comedy special for Miss Whitley. A lot of people Whitley. have said, Kim, she, she you got to have your comedy special. Yeah, it's time. I'm Flex Alexander. And uh, you've been rocking with us right here on Flex Zone All In. We appreciate you. We'll see you again. Everybody was tested. <laughs> Everybody All was negative. tested. <laughs> All negative. We were good. Ready, buddy? Ghetto music. We don't have a soundtrack. <laughs> That's y'all ghetto music? Flex Zone. 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 Flex Zone.